here's another user plug, I'm going to debug. It looks like there is another subset, that's not part of the plug yet. Let's try the plug without it first. This seems to work pretty well. That said, with subset deformation enabled, there are some minor issues. Let's try with the tank subset now. That's beyond acceptable obviously. The question here is, should the subset actually ever deform for this plug? Even if it deforms perfectly, it will of course significantly change shape due to the distance from the surface. So I would say this is a good candidate for an edge plug, which by default does not deform. It will only make sure the hard edge at the base is aligned with the target object's surface. To turn this into an edge plug, remove the fillet at the base using Mesh Machine's Unbevel tool. Make sure the conform vertex group is still correctly covering the surface level polygons. Then, uncheck the has fillet property of the plug mesh. As you can see, there is no deformation happening on the plug mesh now. We do need to manually create the fillet however. It's completely free of any distortion and exactly as it was created. Let's create a deformer for the fillet variation or the plug. There are some smaller deformation related issues at the bottom. Using the deformer, we can get rid of them. Turning on subset deformation leads to the fanning out again. It's much better with the deformer, but still a bit bumpy. I think we can improve the handle and deformer to improve this. Similar to the previous user plugs, the creator of this plug has merged the vertices too early and hasn't kept the perimeter face loop intact. Inset at least one time, and only then start merging vertices. It's better now, and probably as good as it will get.
This is a surprisingly fun plug. I would have never created it like this, so I'm just gonna render it to see it in proper lighting. Nice work Oleg. 